Hey, what's up Blender users, I am Jonathan, and in today's video we're gonna talk about a new feature in Blender 2.83, which allows us to import volumes from VDB files. With this technique we can basically eliminate baking times by using some different programs, which I'm gonna show you later, and we can, for example, reuse older simulations which we baked as VDB files. Oh, and by the way, if you enjoy my content, consider subscribing to my channel, because I upload a new video every Saturday. And with all that said and done, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, for this to work, you will have to download the new object types branch from Graphicall. This is right now not in the Blender 2.83 beta branch, but still an experimental third branch. If you download it and open this branch, we can now see that we get some new objects. We have the hair object, point cloud and volume. For this tutorial, we're only going to use volume. Okay, we can now click on import VDB, but first let me show you a library where we can get free VDB files from. This is called openvdb.org and right here we have some different VDB files. And for this tutorial and thumbnail, I downloaded the explosion.vdb file. Okay, if you also downloaded this one, you can now click on volume import openvdb and locate your explosion file. Once it's imported, you can see that it spawns this big domain object, so we can just scale it down for now, so it doesn't take up our whole space. And because this is not correctly rotated, we will rotate it 90 degrees on the x-axis. Right now we can only see the smoke, um, but if we click on the domain object, click here on the OpenVDB tab, we can see that we get different attributes. For example, density, temperature, and velocity. For the shading we will only use density and temperature. Because this is an external file we don't have the same attributes as in for example Blender Mantaflow where we only use flame for our flames but right now we are going to use temperature. So let me just hop over to cycles, choose also GPU compute and now we can go into the shader editor. With the domain selected we can hit new and you can already see that it adds a principled volume shader as default. Okay, I just quickly added in a sky texture for the world background so we can see the smoke a bit better. If we now go into the rendered view, we can start to see our smoke. By turning up the density, we can make it of course more dense and more noticeable. Okay, now we want some heat in our simulation. For this, we can of course again turn up the black body intensity value. Okay, that's all for the Blender part. There will be a lot of updates in the future and once this branch is completed, I will make a update video on this. Now to the thing I said at the start, because I told you that we can eliminate baking times with this technique. By that, I mean that we can use external program like Embergen to simulate our fluid simulations. Embergen, for example, is a real-time fluid simulator. This means that when we load this software up, we can just press play and we see this flame. All this is being simulated in real time and also the shading happens in real time. And if you own the pro version of Embergen, you can then take this and export it as VDB. And now, finally, we can import it back into Blender. They also have some different presets, for example, the explosion simple one. And this really shows off the capabilities of Embergen. For a real time explosion, this looks pretty good and this is only at a resolution of 192. I'm looking forward to buying the pro version of Emergen and I will hopefully be able to create a few simulation packs with just VDB simulations and give them away on my Gumroad page. If you have a look at their Twitter page, you can really see some incredible artwork people done with Embergen. And this is now also possible to render in Blender and integrate into your scenes. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial and if you know experiment with this branch and run into any errors, you can let me know in the comments and I will try to help you. And with everything said and done, we will see us next Saturday in the next video.